Vibes Cuisine is brought to you by the best dressed chicken, one of the fine products from the Jamaica Brothers Group, and Lee Kum Ki, authentic Chinese sauces. It's time for the Caribbean cooking show with international flavor, Vibes Cuisine. Welcome to the Vibes Cuisine Kitchen. I'm your host, Michelle Jones, and on today's show, I'm going to be using my content beef to make lettuce wraps dipped with Lee Kum Ki hoisin sauce. It is going to be fantastic and easy. I will just amaze you. Let's take a quick look at the recipe and we're going to get started. Today's recipe stars beautiful lean content beef mints all wrapped up in a lettuce leaf. With the Summer Olympics fast approaching in Beijing, China, we're teaching you some authentic Chinese dishes. Today's fresh and crisp meal is flavored with the spicy sweetness of Li Kum Ki Hoisan sauce. You ready to get cooking? The first thing I just want to tell you guys about is the wok that I'm cooking in today. Because we are doing a traditional Chinese dish, I decided that I was going to use my electric wok. Now, a wok is just a piece of metal that is formed in a shape of a bowl. Usually, it has a bowl bottom and then it sits on a base, or just to make it easier for us to use on our stoves, they'll have a flat bottom. This one here is an electric one, which is really great because you can adjust your heat and you can do so many different things with it. You can fry in it, stir fry, you can steam. But, you know, as the show goes on, I'll be showing you lots of really interesting ways to cook in your wok. Now today I'm using my content beef mince. Now you could also use chicken mince if you prefer or you could use tilapia that has been mashed up into little pieces. Lean and tasty content beef mince is another quality product from the Jamaica Brothers Group that celebrates 50 years in 2008. Check the press for amazing 50 Fest activities. I'm gonna go ahead and place this directly into my wok and just mash it up a little bit. Now to this, which is going to be the main flavor of my dish, is oyster sauce. I'm today using my panda sauce. And I just need three tablespoons just to flavor my meat. You can see that my meat is already browning. So here's one tablespoon, two tablespoons, and three tablespoons, oh, a little bit more. Now you need to be kind of careful because these sauces tend to have a lot of sodium in it. That's why I didn't season my beef before because I knew that this is gonna give it great flavor, a nice oyster flavor, very, very nice. I'm gonna turn this down and let this stir fry, and then I'm gonna cut up some vegetables to go into our dish. While that's walking and stir frying, I'm gonna take my cucumber and I'm just gonna dice it up into some, not too small of a piece, and I'm gonna leave the seeds. Give it some nice flavor, a nice crunch. And I'm just gonna cut this up. Don't wanna cut it up too, too small. I like the bite. And normally, we use cucumbers in salads, but very rarely do we cook with them. So. Learn something new every day. This is nice. It's not too big. I'm gonna place this to the side. And I also have a carrot here and I'm gonna do the same to my carrot. I'm gonna cut it in half this way first. Put it four. And we are sizzling. And you can see I'm actually cooking in real time so you'll see that this dish, no time at all, dinner is ready. And I can assure you that your family is going to love how easy and how tasty this dish is. So here I have my carrots. I'm going to go ahead and place this directly on top of my beef. Oh, and I always say if you guys could smell what I smell, the oyster sauce coming, oh, steaming up, it smells so good. The last thing that I'm going to add to this is some chocho, which will also give it a really nice flavor. Let me just go ahead and just chop this really quickly. And then two more great ingredients. Let's put this in. Stir it 
stir that up. Oh, looking good, smelling fine. Now I'm just gonna let this just cook for a little bit because I want my veg to get a little soft. And I'm going to add three tablespoons of hoisin sauce. I'm just gonna use about two tablespoons here to dip. Let me put that right here to the side. And then I'm gonna add three tablespoons right to my wok. The hoisin sauce that I just put into our wok is a mixture, it's a nice savory mixture of ground soybeans, salt, spices. It's great for marinating, roasting, stir frying, dipping, and it really gives your Chinese dishes an authentic flavor. The last thing I'm going to add is about three tablespoons of pure sesame oil. Now sesame oil is made from sesame seeds, but it's not really a cooking oil that you use to, to cook with per se. It's more something that you would use to flavor. It gives a really nice, beautiful, I can't even describe it. It's not a, you can't get hot sesame oil, so it's not a hot flavor, but it's just a very different taste, a very subtle sesame flavor that it gives your dish. So I'm gonna put three of these on just for the flavor. Mm. And this is going to be delicious. Our meal is almost together now. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I'm going to serve it. I'm gonna take a lettuce leaf and it is kind of in a circle. I just kind of took off the, the bottom end of it. And I'm going to place a little bit of our mixture directly on top of the lettuce leaf. Then I'm going to roll it up and I'm gonna bring up my hoisin sauce here. Roll this baby up and I'm just gonna dip it in oh so slightly. Mmm. Mmm. Today's healthy eating tips suggest changing up your sandwich routine. Instead of serving fillings on bread all the time, why not fill lettuce leaves and wrap them up for an interesting roll? You need to eat them with care, but the crispy experience is worth it. Absolutely delicious. My content beef lettuce wraps with Lee Kum Kee hoisin sauce. Here's our yummy lettuce wraps with our secret flavor of hoisin sauce. Perfect for appetizers or a quick meal. I even pack cold wraps in my daughter Mackenzie's lunch kit. Remember, you can cook along with Vibes Cuisine. Visit myspace.com slash Vibes Cuisine to see what recipes are coming up. Get your ingredients together and tune in to cook along. Here's one last look at our recipe. For details, email us at recipes at vibescuisine.com or visit www.jamaicabrothersgroup.com. Housewares for Vibes Cuisine, courtesy of Asmart. Chances are, if you need it, Asmart has it. Wardrobe provided by Carrie, Man Woman Home. Fitness by Jim Khanna. Thanks to all our associate sponsors. Vibes Cuisine was brought to you by The Best Dressed Chicken, one of the fine products from the Jamaica Brothers Group, and Lee Kum Kee, leader of authentic Chinese sauces.